morning everybody so let's look at the Aussie but before we do if you're a new visitor please subscribe just uh, push a button at the bottom there the big red one and let's spread the love um, okay so as usual we start with the the weekly and uh, nothing really has changed from from yesterday uh, this red line here I've already drawn in is uh, the weekly Kijinson you can see it there and you can see that the weekly Tukinson is below the current bar okay uh, those two areas is what's really going to keep price in check uh, for the week. Then if we come to the daily, so if you recall yesterday I said um, we had gapped up and I said we there were a couple of targets that we were looking for and the first one was um, essentially there and then the second one was there. Okay, and uh, we'll look at the four hour now to see how we got that. So the reason why I was saying we'd have a turn there was because of the cloud. We were at the top of the cloud, well, underneath the top of the cloud. So normally there is a, a series of profit taking at that point. Okay, and also the other clue is this big green candle that we had a day before, which um, typically is an exhaustion candle. Whenever you've got a very big candle, um, whether it's uh, a green candle like this stretching for a target at the top or whether it's a red one stretching for a target at the bottom. And this zone was quite a, a serious zone. Um, then, and the, the other level that we had was this one, yeah, so the bottom of this pin, this tail here, you see that? Okay, let's just drill down to the four hour and we'll see what actually happened here. So we'd already broken out of another level, um, which is quite a, a big level, which is this one. And we've broken out quite convincingly. Okay. Then the weekly Kijinson, we were above. And then we gapped up above this level where we closed. And this level was the previous low. Let's just with some space between those levels. You know, I've got two lines here. Just delete the one. Okay. So you can see price gapped up above the low here. Okay, now normally when that happens, there's either a chance that it's going to continue to the next level, which um, was a trade I tried to play and got caught out, uh, or alternatively, it's going to hit the next level, being this tail or that tail. Um, all the cloud here, the flat bottom of the cloud, and turn. And of course, it hit that level, and it fell, I didn't fall short, it hit this level. If I put the line correct, there we go. Okay, so it hit that level, then it hit this level, and it turned. So the safer bet was actually a, a short, um, but I'll show you what I was trying to, to accomplish. Okay, um, and then the other thing is, of course, we've got Siku Span that's broken through. We've got the twist here, and um, Tikkunsen is pointing straight up, which is always a sign that uh, you know the, the short-term momentum is to the upside. But wasn't really paying attention to Kijinsen. When Kijinsen goes flat like this and Tikkunsen's running, normally there's a bounce back or um, now we've hit a level that means that we're gonna there's gonna be some profit taking and which is exactly what happened now if we drill down to the one hour okay I've left some of the the lines in from yesterday's video uh, let's take that one out and this area here was an area of resistance which if we did come back remember I said that's kind of an area where I'd expect us to take profit um, but ultimately this would be the correct area here because it's a test of the breakout. But we missed that one and we continued on um, all the way down to this little breakout here. So let's just use that. Um, so you can see there's a breakout there and what's below that on this little red bar but a Brooks gap 
and I don't think we've actually closed that gap. No, we haven't. So there's the gap there. Okay. What I have added the charts is, is the pivots on this one, so you can just see what's uh, what's going on. You can see um, that S1 daily. So this S1 daily is for today. Okay, but this one was yesterday's. And you can see how price turned at that point. So I know after hours we did fall a bit further. Um, we fell into the five. Well, not really. I suppose that is the after hours candle there. So we did fall down to 440 odd area. So that's basically where we fell to. Okay. So for today, I was just showing you how um, how important it is to to actually play the the high probability trade. Uh, what I tried to do for the small account challenge was to play this picture here. but to the upside okay so yeah probably it wasn't uh, the clever move um, I got stopped out on this candle here and uh, managed to make some of it back by writing this down but it wasn't the clever move the clever move was to be up here um, and I think just in saying that um, we, we all get caught out in you know the violence of the move up and you think there's still more there's still more there's still more and sometimes it's actually better just to to take the at the level even if it is you know a small I mean this would have been if we just taken it at R1 daily which was here and this is this is now this one's to, no no that one's today's this one will be tomorrow's so we just taken it here. <clears throat> we could have had a, a small entry at 200 point stop loss um, at a major level. So probably a better probability. And often when it takes this long, uh, so it was one, two, three, four, five, it took six hours basically before it actually turned. So when it does take this long, you know, there's always, um, it starts just getting more and more concrete that we are going to break through. Okay. Um, for today, so let's just clear all the all the levels and let's just go back to the four hour. Okay, so we have come back to the 200 EMA and we're holding up on the 200. And I would expect us to to stay in this area, um, but but as I said yesterday, this level was a quite a big level that we broke through, so. There's always a chance we can come back down to this level. Okay. And I think we are also, if we just, yeah. So coming back to this level will line up with this trend line. So there is a probability that we can come, still come a bit lower. But if I'm looking at what's happening in Asia at the moment and what's happening. We just have a look at uh, a ten cents, uh, uh, ten cents flat, 0.15 percent down. So, and it is, okay, it is still very early, but uh, that's still a good sign. And um, the other thing that uh, I also have a look at is just to see how the gold stocks closed in the states and gold stocks were all up so resources are still running so it'll be pretty good for us as well but anyway um, so there is a chance for a downside to this area to come and test this level which would be a great entry uh, alternatively just need to wait for that first hour of trading this morning to see what's going to happen but we did close off with a, a range bar so a break, a break above there, uh, which is essentially yesterday's pivot. So a break above there will give us some more upside, and a break below here will give us downside. And I think if we just put the 
range tool on here. So to the downside, um, we will overshoot this. We'll overshoot this, retest this breakout. But, yeah, so there's no real target there. And to the upside, uh, we have this breakout here. So we start with this tail, then we go to this tail, and then we go to that tail. Those are the three targets. So yeah, so I think um, for me, well, I'm going to be running around today, so I probably won't trade the Aussie today. But uh, for those of you are, it's looking for something in this area, and I think the safest one would be a break above this bar. We can get a break above this bar, then we should be fine. And right now, futures is 57, and we closed at uh, 55.90, I think. Just get proper close here. We closed at 57.50, and we are 50 points below that at the moment. So we're kind of um, just hovering in this area. Anyway, that's Aussie. Hope it helps, and I'll catch you later.